Okay, 30 minute zero increment game. Playing for a session of 30 minutes, so should probably just get one game in here. Let's put a check on the king, nice and simple. And simplify, just take the bishop off the board. Nothing complicated. And let's just castle. castle. So they're going for the Fianchetto line, so that's easily blocked off by going here. So we'll attack the center first, get that out of the way. So they're still going for the Fianchetto line. The bishop is protecting the pawn at the minute. If we did take it, develops their knight, then it's attacking the pawn here. So we might as well just go simplify, not complicate it, not help them develop their pieces. So they've captured anyway, so we may as well just capture with the pawn, now it's opened up this file here. Maybe we can get the rooks activated onto that file. Okay, so let's get the bishop activated and just bring it here. It looks a bit defensive, but behind there is the pawn, so if they forget themselves, we can get that pawn later on. Got to be mindful, they've still got their x-ray through, looking to get our rook or this pawn. So I'm going to develop the knight so we can move the rook to protect the pawn or to own this file. So I've got to treat it like the opponent is ahead on points at this moment in time. They are attacking our bishop. Don't mind doubling the pawns at all because it is going to be supporting here. So we could just bring the queen here, attacking their b-pawn, also attacking the knight, also defending the pawn. So I'm going to bring the queen through with the triple activity that it's got. So it does take, so we don't, like we said, we don't mind, because now we're attacking this pawn here, the rook is x-raying through, the queen is actually on here, so there'll be some sort of play to block that, <laughs> exact move to block that off. So we could look to try and go for a rhythm here, but I do believe they'll just drop in the center. So do we go with this pawn instead, but then again they can just drop in the center. So maybe we don't go for those apples yet, and we just go for the pawn. If we go for the pawn, the rook or the queen, or the rook, if the rook comes to attack our pawn, we can take their pawn. It's a nice position for their rook, actually. Or the queen just comes to attack the queen. Or we could just put a check on their king, and then obviously we'll go for the queen exchange. It's even Stevens at the moment, so it looks like it's going to be a pretty even game. So I'm going for the simplified version. There's if buts and maybes in capturing the pawn, in my eyes anyway. Might look different if the queen comes here. We might, we might do something different, I don't know. There's no horizontals here for the queen to take advantage of. Does just move the king. Interesting. So like we said, we could take the pawn, but it's not... If they go for the queen exchange, go for the queen exchange. Let's take the pawn. Seeing as they don't want to exchange the queen. Now they're wanting to exchange the queen. But does the picture look different now? Because his queen can come and get our pawn. Can swing here. If he takes the pawn, then we get a check on his king. But then he's on our knight. Takes the pawn. We take with a check on his king so he can't take the knight straight away. So the king has to move, but it's not got many places to move to, so it'll move here. And then we can move the knight with the protection from. Oh no, no, queen. No, 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 no. Bring a rook here. Or do we just simplify and take the queen off the board? We're plus one at the moment. Um, let's simplify, just keep it simple. Lots of if, buts and maybes in that other continuation. So if we just bring the pawn here, keeping it simple. Now he's going to be thinking of charging here somehow. Wants to get some rhythm. So he's going for all like a castle by hand thing with the king. So I'm actually going to bring the rook across now, try and own the file for a moment. 
So the bishop has to move out of the way so the king can link the rooks up. So do we go here first and then here, or do we move the knight first? I think going there looks better, doesn't it? Because it's a bit speedier, because it's going to be linking his rooks up. Maybe we can get to this square here where we're challenging two pieces. Yeah, it's looking to lock, we'll lock that down, don't really want to get into too much. So it's locking down there, dark square bishop is trying to get it opened up. If we take, then his knight takes and then he's in a good position. So I'm going to go with the doubling up still at this moment. So I think we've got here fairly quickly. It is a 30 minute game and we won't even hit the 25 minute mark yet. So it's looking to put some pressure here. Could push the pawn or we could just continue with the double. I'm actually going to just continue with the double. I'm not ignoring this. It's just, well, if he does get the pawn back, he gets the pawn back. But we're trying to improve it. Yeah. So he's, instead of moving the bishop, he's brought the king there. So he's linked up his pieces now. So now we could bring our knight back around. It does feel like it's going backwards. But the reason we're wanting to probably bring it here is to kind of this is going to be happening that's going to be happening yeah so we're going to be a pawn down in a sense i think you know what i'm going to push this pawn here so we've got two rhinoceros heads here now target in the square it's not saying it's going to win out but it's um better than nothing so position play you'd probably expect the rook to oh no he's not attacking the attacking the knight okay there's me thinking my knight is all hunky-dory. Obviously, straight away I'm looking at coming here to attack this pawn because this pawn is actually... But then they're just going to take, so then the knight takes. And the knight's on this pawn here. So it looks more favourable, I think. But it all depends because it doesn't have to. I could go here, then it could push down. But we do have the rhinoceros head situation that we created, which helps us with that. So let's just bring the knight across. And there's no other pieces that, well, the bishop can. But we do have a pawn that can take, so he may do that, you never know. Oh, so they do take. Okay, so we'll grab here. So now we're attacking this pawn here with our knight. He's trying to make this pawn free so that it, this bishop gets into the game. Oh, he's attacking our pawn, which he's going to be attacking. But we do have a check on his king. But, I'm going to take with the check on the king first, then bring this knight here, then it's protecting this uh, pawn. It's also attacking the bishop, and it's defending the knight, because the king will come and attack it. So I'm going to bring the knight here, protecting the pawn for a moment. So the bishop's moved, it's uh, nice and cosy. Could bring the rook here now, looking for an x-ray through to the king, but obviously this knight is going to be challenged. So if we push this pawn onto the knight, supporting our knight, it's also attacking their knight. Um, their knight is going to continue attacking our rook. And it's got this square here, and it's also attacking the pawn. So we need to move either the pawn, well we can't move the pawn because the rook's going to take. Uh, but, 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 but. So it's not too... Knight's going to fall. Mm. So we push, knight attacks both. So I don't really want to bring my rook here because is there not anything better? Well I suppose in a way we could go and attack his pawn. Knight takes. Uh, it's a shame the bishop's controlling this square. 
Knight could come at all, but his pawn is there. Oh, sure. Looks like my knights are kind of not doing the job I thought they might have been doing. Hmm. I'm going to have to bring it back here. Looks like I am. Okay, let's attack the knight. I'm going to have to bring the rook here. Our knight's covering this square at the moment, so he probably wouldn't expect me to come down to go across here, but then his other rook still can't get there. So he might do a long-winded way, go here, go here. Oh, that's going to take a while. Yeah, as good as my knights look, it's, um, well, we've got the pawn now supporting for a moment, so at least then this knight can move. I suppose they are causing a bit of trouble. Yeah, so he was always going there. Let's see if it looks any different. I don't think it really does. Do I have anything? No, I'm just going to have to go here. Oh, look at that fork, though. I go here. His knight just goes here. And then he's got one of my rooks. So we might as well have to let him get the pawn back then after all that. Okay, right. So what can we do? What can we do? Can't because of the pawn. Come up to attack the pawn, but this was the problem in the fact that if he takes, he's on my rook. So we can come here and attack the knight. Also, X-ray through to the pawn. The knight goes back to where it came from, or comes here attacking our pawn. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is a wait and see how it looks situation again. Like I say, it's a shame this bishop's here. Could have just snuck in here. There's no way of getting rid of that bishop. I don't think. So almost a piece for a piece, but it's not quite there. So I might also end up being a pawn down, but I think we'll come back and defend this pawn. But it all depends what it looks like. I think that rook coming attacking the knight is going to be okay. Do we want his rook to be able to come round the back? Because we can't get the rook here to put a check on his king. Even if we went round the back. So go here anyway. So I don't really want to do nukitary work. We could snap a pawn up, but really... We don't have any access to his king. We're going to have to do a discover check type thing. So if the rook came here, then the knight can... Because this rook is blocking his king. And the knight can move. It's almost like a checkmate. Obviously it's not going to allow that to happen. The rook is going to drop. But it um, looks like a nicer, nicer picture. So if he comes here, the rook takes. So he's going to have to come back here. Then we go here, and can he block it? Oh no, we can't. Oh, that is a damn shame, because the knight's going to be there. Oh, that's a... Oh, oh. He's, he's gone here. He put a lot of thought into that as well. He's not a low-rated player either. Let's take. Well, that was a free gift if I ever saw one. I'm just looking to see if I'm falling into a trap here now. 
I think that might have been a blunder. Yeah. So I really wanted that position back, didn't I? So if I can come here now. Oh, do I rush to do that one? Because really, I want the I want to block the king off, don't I? I'm gonna come back up and see if we can readjust to this position here. But he might do the pawn and push down, which block. Ah, oh, yeah, it does block it. I wonder if they can see that pattern or is it just by sheer luck that they're finding the position. Let's just bring the rook here and try and do the same thing again here. Because the king can't go anywhere can it? If we get the rook here, he can't come down. He's going to have to sacrifice a piece or attack the rook. like now because if we get it here then our next move will be the knight moving anywhere i'm sure that is a checkmate he's gonna sacrifice oh he's gonna sacrifice the rook he's spoiling my beautiful picture but if he sacrifices the rook we just take don't we so the knight can move anywhere oh do you know no he can't even move because the knight is blocking the square it's got to be a checkmate, hasn't it? Can I move to take something? Knight's coming here to attack the bishop. Oh, do you know what though? He can just go here, can't he? Because the rook is blocking, but the rook will just take. So I might be giving up the knight. I don't want to give my knight up. Ooh, I don't want to give the knight up at all. Check, and the king can't move to the side on there. Right, there's some, got to be something in this. Because he can't go here, he's going to have to come here because he can't go to this square. So then we can take the rook off the board. And it's not quite checkmate, is it? Because he's going to hide around here. And this bishop is blocking this beautiful square. Oof. We'll have to see how it lies. I suppose he could just drop his rook, protect him. And then that's definitely checkmate then, isn't it? Oh, and they've resigned. Excellent. 